and welcome to my YouTube channel English as a second language in Pakistan this is Emmanuel Anthony and we are going to study the novel Goodbye Mr. Chips the novel Goodbye Mr. Chips is part of the English syllabus of intermediate part 2 class in this video lesson we are going to study chapter number 5 overall this is lecture number 23 we will start from page number 11 in chapter 5 on page number 11 we will be reading from line 11 to line 25 are you with me let us start together it would be all right of course her coming to Brookfield in the previous lesson we studied that Mr. Chips was frightened although Catherine was happy and eager here in this line we come to know that Mr. Chips was frightened a little bit because when he thought that Catherine would come to Brookfield and she might not like a boy's school. He became afraid. But on the other hand, Catherine said that she would like it a lot. Other house pastors were married and she liked boys. She told him and would enjoy living amongst them. In these lines we see that Catherine clearly told Mr. Chips that she would come to Brookfield and she would enjoy staying among the boys, staying among the students. And she also has an argument that Mr. Chips is not the only person who is going to marry and who is going to bring his wife to Brookfield. There are other teachers too. There are other housemasters too who are married and whose wives are staying at Brookfield. Quite a good logic to convince Mr. Chips. Oh Chips, I am so glad you are what you are. Catherine liked Chips as he was. She liked his profession. She liked his job. She liked his manners and her, his honesty. So she said she was so glad you are what you are. I was afraid you were a solicitor. When Catherine saw Mr. Chips for the first time, she thought he must be a solicitor. A solicitor is a state lawyer or a stockbroker. A stockbroker is a sort of businessman who invests money in stock exchange. Mr. Chips is not a businessman too or a dentist. When Catherine saw Mr. Chips for the first time she thought he might be a doctor, a dentist or a man with a big cotton business in Manchester. Manchester is one of the biggest cities in UK. So Mr. Chips, neither he is a dentist nor a nor owner of a cotton businessman in Manchester, nor a solicitor, nor a stockbroker. He is a teacher. When I first met you, I mean, schoolmastering is so different. Catherine thought that being a schoolmaster is so good a job so important don't you think so Catherine thinks that teaching in a school and developing a country forming a nation's future is a great service for a man to do to grow up and to, to be influencing those who are going to grow up and matter to the world. 
why for Catherine school mastering is a good job because she thinks that a school master is a person who is going to shape a nation's future. He influences those who are going to grow up and matter to the world. Influence, inspire. Chip said he hadn't thought of it like that. Chip said that although it is a good reason to be a schoolmaster, he had never thought like that. Or at least not often. He did his best. That was all anyone could do in, your, in any job. Mr. Chip said that although the reasons you are presenting to be a schoolmaster are good enough, he had never thought about them often. He said, I did my job honestly and that is one should do in all jobs, in all situations. This is for today. I hope you enjoyed my lesson. See you in the next video lesson. Have a very nice time. Thank you.